Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I'm gonna take you along with me on my entire day of eating, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and of course dessert. Plus you're gonna see a few hauls, a little day in the life, a little bit of my dogs. So I'm just going to spend the day side by side with you. So if you wanna see what I eat on the WW Freestyle Program in a day to lose weight, then just keep watching. share with you guys my home goods haul I finally found plates for my videos I went a little crazy but I am so excited about what I picked up at home goods so first I grabbed some hopes perfect glass this really truly is the best glass cleaner it does not leave any streaks it's normally about five dollars a container and this one was $3.99 at home goods so I decided for that price, that was a pretty good deal. It really is awesome glass cleaner. I have found it in the past at Lowe's or Home Depot as well. And then I found this super cute makeup brush holder. It says, you're like really pretty with a heart. And I thought how fun to put all of my makeup brushes in. The one that I have is just this really old, ugly green jar. So I picked this up and this was... $4.99 so not bad and comparable at $7 so not bad and I thought it was really cute it just will go under my counter for my makeup brushes and also I grabbed this Bing keep it simple organizer I want this for under my bathroom sink for cotton balls cotton pads and q-tips and this was also $4.99 it is a really nice thick heavy duty plastic so I love that cannot wait to use that I have been wanting one of these message boards for a long time. I can never find them and they had a ton at Home Goods. And I want this primarily for my videos. You can add things to the felt background here, just different words. It comes with all of the letters. So super cute and it was $9.99, I think. Yeah, $9.99. Sorry, I didn't want to focus there. So I picked this message board up. You'll be seeing this in my videos. I'm so excited. And then I have wanted a extra large muffin tin. And I found this one from Chloe's Kitchen. And this was $4.99, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And this is honestly like a nice heavy duty extra large muffin tin. And then I also needed a new bread pan. Mine is rusty. So I'm assuming it's from putting it in the dishwasher. So let me know in the comments, are you not supposed to put these types of things in the dishwasher? So this one I will be hand washing and this one I think was $4.99, really inexpensive. And it is a really heavy duty bread pan. So I grabbed that and then plates. I found so many cute plates for my videos, you guys. So first I found this Shabby Chic Outdoor. This was actually on clearance for $3. It is just melamine, so it is a plastic, but I thought it was so cute. So these I want for when I do recipes in my videos to showcase my food. So I love this one. And then look at this gorgeous one I got for $2.99. This is alabaster glass and it has that gorgeous rainbow look to it. I loved this one. And then I had to get this. This is extra large and it's that bubbly glass look. It was only $4.99. I love this. It is huge. It is gorgeous. Really excited about that. And then I saw the miniature version of that same plate for $1.99, so of course I had to pick up that. So 
little matching set here. And then lastly, I found this one. I thought this was so cute for $2.99. It is a ceramic plate. Loved it. So you guys will be seeing these fun decorative plates in my upcoming videos. So that is everything that I grabbed at my little trip to Home Goods. How are ya? He lays here because there's a vent here under our couch that blows nice cool air on him. You can tell he's happy, paws are crossed and all. Well, hi. I see you dug out my side of the bed again. Yeah. Hi, baby. Lola. He. I know. I love you. Yeah, he's a grunter. For my morning snack, I'm gonna be having my, per the usual, Built Bar. This is the lemon chocolate cream. Just to give you guys a heads up, both the lemon and the strawberry are being discontinued. They said they will eventually bring them back. They don't know when. So if you are a fan of the lemon or the strawberry, make sure that you head over to Built Bar and get those before they are gone. But the good news is they made the mint brownie delight, which I love, and the mocha permanent flavors, which will now be part of the sample boxes. So it's exciting but sad to see some of our favorites, the lemon and the strawberry, go. So these Built Bars are 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, and six fiber. So these little suckers keep you full, but they taste amazing, like a candy bar. You can have this for only three smart points. Not bad at all, and this definitely keeps me full between breakfast and lunch. So again, if you wanna pick up the Built Bar, the lemon and the strawberry before they're gone, or the new Mint Brownie Delight and Mocha Permanent Flavors, head over to BuiltBar.com, use my code here on the screen, you'll get 10% off and free shipping. Or you can click the link down in the description box and it will automatically take you to the website and automatically apply the 10% discount and free shipping. You can use my code over and over for yourself and please feel free to share it with anyone who you think might be interested in the Built Bar. So this is my three smart point morning snack. Guys, I am so excited. I have been waiting for this to arrive so that I can share with you my new Erin Condren planning system. I'm so excited. I went a little crazy and I ordered a ton of stuff, but you guys, I cannot wait. I'm so excited for my new career and needing to just plan. I love to plan. So I'm gonna be using this in addition to my Carrie L meal planner. This is the Erin Condren life planner, you guys. It's gorgeous. So first it came in this absolutely amazingly beautiful box that I'm going to keep and look at my planner, you guys. You can customize it. Mine has my initials on it. I absolutely love it. This is so pretty. So this is the size of my hand. So it's not an eight and a half by 11. This is an eight and a half by 11. So it's a little bit smaller, but you guys, this planner is absolutely amazingly gorgeous. This is the on the go life planner. You can customize your name, how you want it laid out, what you want included in your planner. It is seriously amazing. So I started mine with 2019 and I actually started it with July just because I wasn't sure exactly when it would come. It is customized so it does take a little bit of time to create and print. So I started with July and then it goes through the entire rest of this year and literally all of next year. You guys, I'm so excited. So each month you have a little side over here for notes. You have a section here for any birthdays that month, which I think is awesome. I always forget birthdays, I'm terrible. You can set some monthly goals. You have a bullet journal if you wanna do some fun bullet journaling. And then just a spot here for some extra notes, maybe tracking your weight loss. And then I did mine in a horizontal layout where my calendar has open blocks for each day so that I can have my appointments in there for real estate. I can track what videos I wanna do for YouTube. There's a cute little notes tab. And then I also selected a larger day by day. And this is where I can really write notes. So this is more at a glance and this is more in depth day to day for the entire month what I have on my agenda. And then at the very end of each month, there is an, a whole additional page for notes, which I love this. You can just jot down things for the next month if you want to. It is portioned off with these gorgeous quotes in between 
each month's worth of calendars. You guys, I love it so much. So let's get past the whole next year, which how awesome is that? And let's go back here past the calendars. So after the calendars for each month of the year, you have your notes tab. And that is just some additional pages where you can just jot down different notes. After that, I love this. There is a contacts tab. So how awesome is that? So you can jot down different contacts. It also has the following year at a glance, so 2021. So if you are planning some things for the coming year, you can jot down those notes there. And then you guys, in the back, there is so many stickers. Look at these stickers. They are so absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, birthdays, things you're grateful for, seasonal themed. There's little blocks for you to make notes. So you can make this planner strictly customized to you. And then look at this, a pocket in the back. And in here is also a perpetual calendar. So I love this. It is just each month and then each day listed out and it's tucked in the folder here in the back. So you have a little handy perpetual calendar as well. And then the back cover and the front cover are on this nice glossy cardstock, nice and heavy duty so that you can take notes in dry erase form. And I just wanna point out my binding. I upgraded to the rose gold coil, coiling and I love it, you guys. So isn't this absolutely gorgeous? So I just measured it actually with the cute little ruler that came on it and it's a nine by seven planner. So it really truly is perfect for on the go. You can toss it in your purse. So excited, I love it. And then I decided to pick up, this is actually a interchangeable one of these covers, but it's an eight and a half by 11. It says real estate Jen Clayton and on the back is a notes dry erase area. So what I wanted to do was be able to do some dry erase type of notes on the back. So I was just gonna keep this on my desk in my office at my real estate brokerage. Sorry for my skylight above it. And then I went crazy with the accessories. So life is art, live yours in color. So this is a designer sticker book classic collection. And look, you guys, I got all these extra stickers to jazz up my planner. I love this. I also grabbed a couple sheets of the matching stickers that match the cover of my planner. And this is just, again, to just kind of jazz up and personalize your planner. And then this is the star of the show in addition to the planner is I went ahead and grabbed the three pack of all the different colors of markers. They come in these nice plastic cases. They are dual tipped, fine and larger point. So excited to have the Erin Condren markers. I also grabbed this. This is what's called a dashboard. So this clips right into your planner and this is the bill tracker dashboard. So you can track all of your monthly bills that they've been paid, the date that they're due, and then there's even a savings tracker on the back so you can track kind of what you are planning to save. So I love this. This is what it'll look like once you kind of add in your different bills for each month and kind of make it your own. So I'm gonna add that to my planner. It just keeps me from forgetting to pay my bills on time. Love it. And then Erin Condren threw these in for free. These are some cute little gift tags. And then there's even some extra stickers and little bookmarks as just a thank you for purchasing her planner. So you guys, this is amazing. There is not another planner on the market that I would even be interested in. This is so gorgeous. It is such high quality. I reached out to Erin Condren and asked them if they would be willing to offer a discount to you guys, and sh they sure did. So here on the screen is the discount. It is also down in the description box, and it will be in the description box of all of my videos moving forward. But if you're looking for a new planner with this year coming to a close, I highly recommend the Erin Condren. I'm telling you guys, best value on the market, best quality, totally customizable, which is even better. So definitely pick yourself up an Erin Condren planner. So here's what I'm gonna be having for lunch today. So I have one serving of cherries. Of course, that's zero points. I have one serving of my pasta salad that I made in meal prep, you guys, this pasta salad you have to make it. it is a five ingredient pesto pasta salad and it is so good this entire serving of the salad is only 
three smart points. You can't beat it, it is so good. And then I made myself a California turkey wrap. This is also in my meal prep. So it's one tomorrow's wrap, and then in my wrap is some shredded lettuce, tomato, one smart point worth of avocado, some zero point turkey, two slices of center cut bacon for one smart point, and a laughing cow cheese wedge. So my entire wrap is only four smart points. And then with my sandwich and salad, you gotta have some pickles. So I'm gonna be having a package of these Oh Snap Dilly Bites. These are zero smart points. These are really good, they are crunchy. They're not in any type of brine, so they're perfect to take on the go. And then for dessert, I'm going to have one of my chocolate covered caramel sweet nothings. These little chocolates are so good. They taste like those fancy chocolatier chocolates. They are that good and they are only one smart point. You can purchase Sweet Nothings on the Protein Wise website. There is a link down below that will give you $10 off your first order. She's awesome, the lady who owns the company. They have some great WW products. Definitely get the Sweet Nothings. They are amazing. So one smart point for that, three for the pasta salad, and four for the wrap. This is an eight smart point delicious lunch. Someone's sunbathing again. It is an absolutely gorgeous day out. Look at this, you guys. It is beautiful out. And Lola, of course, is laying in the sun till she's so hot she can hardly stand it. And then she'll come lay inside on the air conditioning vent. The aftermath of sunbathing. There's a vent under the couch, and there's Lola. She'll lay here till she cools off, and she'll be right back outside in the sun again. It is about three o'clock and I am hungry for a snack. So I'm gonna have one of my new favorite bars. Well, second favorite. My first favorite is the Built Bar. My second favorite are these healthy eating all the time and go bars. These are so good, you guys. This is the natural peanut butter coffee mocha. And look at these bars. They are thick and delicious. And look at these ingredients. They are as real ingredients as you can possibly get in a bar. There's oatmeal, natural peanut butter, raw sliced almonds, whey protein, instant real coffee, unsweetened cocoa powder, unsweetened coconut honey, and coconut flour. That's it. All real ingredients. The macros are on point. These bars range anywhere from six to seven smart points, depending on the bar. I know that that's a lot of points, but they are so filling and so satisfying. It is like having an entire meal. This will keep me full until dinner. So I highly recommend these bars. If you're interested in purchasing these, I do have a 12% discount for you. I'll put that here on the screen. It is not an affiliate link. It is strictly a discount for you. And she was so kind as to offer that. But I would definitely recommend these bars. They are really good. Every single one is so delicious. So I'm going to have this this afternoon as my six smart point snack. So I want to share with you guys my nutrition haul. I was about out of pasta and you know my world would come to an end. So I went ahead and placed a nutrition order. Plus I wanted to give away a few of these things in my giveaway. So you can see that I am restocked up on pasta. This is the Fiber Gourmet Pasta. I love it so much. As I've mentioned before, my husband has requested that we no longer use any store-bought pasta. He really likes the Fiber Gourmet. The flavor, the texture, everything is amazing. And you can have two ounces of this pasta for only three smart points. So it is half the smart points of regular pasta. You can't go wrong. And it is so incredibly good. It is a must-have staple from Nutrition. So they come in different shapes. So you can see I bought the elbows, the light rotini. I do like the rotini pasta. I did pick up another bag of spaghetti and another bag of the penny. So I have seven bags. This will last me quite a while. Another thing you know that I love from Nutrition, from Fiber Gourmet as well, are the Thinnables. These are the Cheez-It style of crackers. This one is sharp cheddar. And I also purchased the Italian four cheese, which is actually my favorite. You can have an entire serving of these crackers, which is 30 pieces, so 30 crackers, and it is only two smart points. You can actually have less Cheez-Its for five smart points. So these taste really similar to Cheez-It. I wouldn't say an exact match, but they taste really good. They give you that cheesy, that crunchy. I love them. So I picked up two packs of the sharp cheddar and two packs of the Italian four cheese. Some new products that Nutrition had that I had to grab 
was this is made from the Lakanto brand. These are sugar-free and keto. They have one net carb. This is their sugar cookie mix. So I'm excited to try this mix. You can have, it looks like 112, so one cookie basically for 45 calories. Of course, I'll put the points here on the screen. Your ingredients are nice and clean, nothing crazy. And monk fruit, Lakanto makes monk fruit sweetener. So all of these are sweetened with monk fruit, which is one of your best options for a sweetener alternative. So really excited to try that. And on that same note, they had a brand new blueberry muffin mix. This sounds really good as well. Sugar-free keto, one net carb, and this you can actually have one muffin or it makes 12 muffins for only 35 calories, and there are your ingredients. So again, really good ingredients in these, you guys. So these are brand new products, so the blueberry muffin mix and the sugar cookie mix. Also, a newer product is PB2, which I know we've all heard of PB2, but this is powdered almond butter, 90% less fat. So you can have two tablespoons of it for 50 calories. So pretty similar to PB2, but instead this is almond butter. So if you're a bigger fan of the taste of almond butter over peanut butter, highly recommend this. A repurchase is the Sucre and Gold, the brown sugar alternative. I love this. It is my favorite brown sugar alternative. It is zero calories, so it is zero smart points. I don't think it has any weird aftertaste. It doesn't have the cooling effect that Swerve does. It's just really a high quality, delicious brown sugar alternative. Also, you know I love my no sugar added pie mix and I've only ever been able to find cherry and look what I discovered. Apple, I'm really excited to have this. It looks like everything's very similar to the cherry pie. Of course, I will have it here on the screen for you, but this is the apple pie filling, very exciting. Also, two other new products. This is actually a repurchase. I have bought these before. This is the Lily's Milk Chocolate Style Baking Chips. So, you know Lily's has the dark chocolate chips. These are the milk chocolate, and they are sweetened with stevia. They are 35% cacao. And I want to say they're a little bit more points if I remember right. I want to say two points for a serving, and it looks like a serving is 30 chips versus the 60 of the dark chocolate. But... If you are not a dark chocolate fan, these are milk chocolate and they're delicious. Also, another new product are the Lily's Semi-Sweet Style Baking Chips. So, how great would these be in cookies? And these are 45% cacao. And let's take a look here. These look like about the same nutritional information as the milk. So, 30 chips for 50 calories. So, two new Lily's products to try out as well. I've never seen these anywhere other than Nutrition. So, that, my friends, is my Nutrition dot com haul there is a link down in the description box it is not a discount link i don't have an affiliate code but if you click the link it'll take you directly to nutrition's website it will allow me to track what you're ordering so i know what to order to share with you guys in upcoming recipes so i'd greatly appreciate it if you just hit through the nutrition website through my link so that's it guys my nutrition.com haul for tonight's dinner we are making fontina rolled chicken. Now I could not find Fontina cheese, so we're going to call this mozzarella rolled chicken. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first you're going to need some panko breadcrumbs, salt and pepper, of course some boneless skinless chicken breast, paprika, either dry or fresh parsley. The recipe actually calls for fresh, but I don't have any. Again, I'm using mozzarella cheese. I could not find the Fontina, unfortunately. I have five slices of pre-cooked center cut bacon, an egg, a green onion, and some softened fat-free cream cheese. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. To get started on tonight's dinner, we're gonna mix together the first in six ingredients on our list. I forgot to mention the recipe does also call for sun-dried tomatoes, but I could not find any that weren't in oil, so I have to admit those as well. So into my bowl, I'm going to put in two, these are rather large green onions. You could do a couple more if your green onion was smaller my pieces of center cut bacon that I have crumbled, one cup of my mozzarella cheese, my four ounces of softened fat-free cream cheese, 
I do freeze mine, so I went ahead and just put it on defrost in the microwave for just a couple of minutes. And then we're gonna add in some parsley. And we're also going to add in just a little bit of salt and pepper. And we'll give this a good mix before we start on our second and third bowls. We're gonna have a little station action going on with tonight's dinner. So let me get this mixed together and then we'll get going on our second bowl. In our second bowl, we're going to take our one egg and we're gonna give it a quick whisk. You wanna have a shallow bowl for bowl number two and three. So give it kind of a quick whisk. And then to that, we are gonna go ahead and add in some salt and pepper as well. And then we are done with bowl number two and we will move on to bowl number three. In the third bowl, we're going to put one cup of panko breadcrumbs. And to that, we are going to add some paprika. And we're just gonna give this a quick mix. And we are ready to get our chicken prepared to go into our three bowls. I've went ahead and cut my two chicken breasts into thinner pieces. I've grabbed my rolling pin because I do not have a meat mallet. And I'm going to just cover my chicken with parchment paper and I'm going to roll until my chicken is spread out to be a lot thinner because remember we're gonna be rolling that mixture in the middle of our chicken breast. So I'm just gonna use my roller to pound out my pieces of chicken. Once you've pounded out your chicken breast so that they are nice and flat, we're going to spoon the cream cheese, cheese, bacon mixture onto our pieces of chicken. And you wanna go ahead and divide that mixture up amongst your four breasts and then we'll be ready to roll these up and dip them in the egg and the breadcrumbs. This, you guys, is looking delicious. It is very indulgent for a WW-friendly recipe and not bad on the points at all. Wait till you guys see that at the end. So we're gonna go ahead and get them nice and filled with the cream cheese mixture and then we'll get these rolled up and ready to go. Now we're ready to roll these up. So we're just gonna take it and we're gonna do our best to kind of roll that filling into the middle of our chicken breast. And then we're gonna go ahead and secure it with a toothpick. So you're just gonna shove that through the mix as well as through the other end of the chicken. Oh, those look so good. Mine are spilling over with mix. So we're just gonna repeat that until all four of our chicken breasts are rolled up. Once you get your chicken all rolled up, the next step is we're gonna go ahead and dredge it here in our beaten egg, and then we are going to put it into our panko breadcrumbs and get it nice and coated in the breadcrumbs. Look at how good this looks, you guys. Yum, and then we're just going to put that on a lined baking sheet, and we're just gonna repeat that until all four pieces of our chicken are coated in the breadcrumbs. Once your chicken is coated in the breadcrumbs, look how good that looks. We are just going to give it a quick spray with some nonstick cooking spray. That's just going to kind of adhere the breadcrumbs a little bit better. And it's also going to brown them up when we put them into the oven. So we are going to put these in the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes or until our chicken is cooked completely through. I just pulled out the chicken. Look at how delicious this looks with the breadcrumbs and the cheese and the bacon, yum. My broccoli is in the microwave, so I'm gonna go ahead and plate up dinner and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. I have one of the smaller breasts of the Fontina chicken. I'm not overly hungry, so I went ahead and took a smaller breast of chicken. And then of course I have a side of broccoli. So for one fourth or one breast of the Fontina chicken, is a total of six smart points. So not bad for bacon and cream cheese, mozzarella cheese. So this entire dinner is a total of six smart points. The bark is done. Look at that, we finished that front yesterday, which is exciting. So it's all done, it looks so good. 
We've got quite a bit of bark left, so we're gonna do a section in our backyard as well, but thank goodness the front is done. So here's what I'm gonna be having for dessert tonight. I have one of my orange cream smart cakes. These are a new flavor and they are so incredibly good. And what I did is I just broke it in half and then squirted a little bit of fat-free Ready Whip between the two halves and basically made a little cupcake. So that's what I'm gonna be having for dessert. These Smart Cakes are only 38 calories, so they are only one Smart Point. They are keto and low carb, so they're a great sweet treat choice. You can order these on the Smart Baking Co. website. If you use my code here on the screen, you'll get 10% off your order. And this is the same company that does the Smart Buns, the one Smart Point hamburger bun. So, I highly recommend these Smart Cakes. They're one of my very favorite desserts. So this is going to be my one Smart Point dessert, and this is going to round out my food for the day. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on the WW Freestyle Program. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my recipes. That dinner was fantastic, so definitely put that recipe on your list of two makes. I hope you enjoyed seeing the dogs, a couple of my hauls, it's been a great day and I enjoyed again taking you along with me. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell. That way you don't miss a single video. You don't want to miss out. I do what I eat Wednesdays every single week. Thumbs up this video if you would and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this what I eat in a day on WW and I love you guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.